Previously on Drake Paragon. We're in Nonartala going to the grocery store. You really gotta watch out when you're getting produce. You ready? There it goes. Aina went to the hospital so that they could look at his finger. Yeah, you're a beautiful puppy. What I know of the Outer Hebrides is that it's on the outside of the Inner Hebrides. <laughs> and that places us further and further into the season with the higher probability of bad weather. I think we might have to move Paragon, guys. Uh, just forward, I think. Yeah, unless you're gonna go over to the other side. I no, I think they're gonna come alongside here, Drake. Alongside here. Yeah. Uh, I think we'll have to. It's untied. Hey, Mo, can you turn on the heat, Jeff? You want me to say something? Sailing vessel Paragon at the Now. Tomorrow we're going to go into Prince Christensen. Yeah, yeah. And we're trying to decide right now whether we should sail straight to Ireland, about 1,300 nautical yeah, miles. Yeah, yeah. We have to go to Ireland because we need to bring him home. Okay. Uh, he's like crew yeah. in okay. from Ireland, we yeah. need to bring him all the way home. And so we either go straight to Ireland or we go to Iceland first yeah. and then Faroe and then. I come Scotland. from Faroe Islands. You do? Oh, really? Oh, yeah. The Faroe Islands is an archipelago of 18 mountainous islands located halfway between Iceland and Scotland in the North Atlantic Ocean. These islands were settled by Norwegian Vikings in the 9th century, and the Faroese language spoken today is descendant of an old Norse dialect. Today, the Faroe Islands has a population of 50,000 inhabitants and is a self-governing nation under the external sovereignty of the Kingdom of Denmark. The scenery in Faroe is some of the most spectacular in all of Northern Europe, with dramatic vertical cliffs, sea stacks, and steep sloping mountains. I'm very... I'm living here at the moment. Yeah. Yeah. This company here is owned by the Faroese. The management on board is from Faroese, but the regular crews is yeah. Greenlandic. Oh, yeah. Because they're fishing in Greenlandic waters. 
they must know who they recruit. That's the requirement. Wow. I'm concerned because I've heard that in September the weather starts to really change. And if we wait too long here, autumn storms begin. Yeah. Yeah. You can expect them to come. Huh? We try to leave Greenland before the middle of summer. Weather is kind of unpredictable in the Faroes. We get the end of the Gulf Spring. Yeah. Being that far north, it should be actually cooler. But the Gulf Spring warms it up. Weather in the Faroes is like this, but more windy. Oh, great, yeah. Lots of current around the Faroes. So you've got to be careful in certain places. Yeah. In the Faroes, as you approach, uh, depending on where in the ferries you're going, it's in a couple of fjords, yeah. uh, you have to watch out for the current. Yeah. Yeah. Especially if the winter is against the current. Yeah. Yeah. We can't really get weather once we leave here. I mean, we get our, our weather from the internet. So when we leave shore, we lose the internet, we can't get weather. The weather forecast looks out about a week, and then after that, who knows? And yeah, so the further away, the, yeah. the more uncertain. Yeah, yeah, that's why we're wondering, should we go straight to Ireland in 1,300 miles, or should we go to Iceland, Faroe, Scotland, and then Ireland? You know, it's a lot more miles, but the lot short, more shorter, shorter huh? Yeah. yeah, that's right. It's uh, <laughs> very difficult for me to advise you, yeah. but, but I would go take Iceland. Oh, yeah. yeah I would do it. Okay. But, uh, to tell you to do it is very difficult. Yeah, sure, yeah, of course. Yeah. The worst part this year around Cape Verde, if you get straight out of Christensen, yeah. start early in the morning, get away in the daylight, yeah. get away from the ice, and you should be clear about that. Yeah. I can come aboard and see the boat. I would sure, love course. to see it. Yeah, it looks really yeah, nice. Yeah. Yeah. party on board last night. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, nice. It's rough sailing sometimes? Sometimes, yeah. I've been in some bad storms. I don't like storms. Which, <laughs> which route did you take from, from Boston? And from Boston we went straight to Lunenburg, Nova Scotia. Yeah. And then from there straight to St. John's, Newfoundland. Yeah. And from there straight to Bamute. I'll take the Bamute, the yeah. cross. Yeah. And that was I think, yeah. eight days yeah. sailing. And we went to Arsuk yeah. and Karatak. Yeah, I saw you there. Yeah. <laughs> I saw you there. Yeah. And from Kakatok, Kakotok, uh, they say we went straight down here or on the way? Uh, hot springs. We went to the hot, hot springs. Hot springs, oh yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. That was nice. Yeah. Yeah. I did some sailing here some years ago, and that time we didn't have much water on board. So every time we passed that, that's where we washed. <laughs> nice. <laughs> that's great. Yeah. They have known that spring for a thousand years, and this temperature is 38, 6 to 38 past oh, that. Wow. I can show you the engine room yeah. if you want yeah. to see the rest. Uh -huh. What type of engine do you have? We have an 85 horsepower Perkins diesel. Perkins? Yeah. Oh, they're nice engines, huh? They run so smoothly. I like her. Perkins. I washed my hair where people have washed their hair for a thousand years. Here you go. Maps of the Pharaohs. I think, I think it might actually be in here as well. Uh, oh, the cruising almanac. Okay. Shetland Islands to Gibraltar. Scotland, England. England. It must be under his computer. Or no, it's, it's here. What? Sorry, it's here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, that one. There, that's what I was looking for. Cool. Scotland. Because I asked him about Vega, he said it was he said it was bad around here. Um, but he said that if we went to the. If he said if we went to Torshaven, it would be fine. That's on the opposite side of the island. He said the west, he said, he'd say, he said the east is better. Faroe, four, six. Is that Faroe Islands or is that Faroe? That's another Faroe, eh? I think it'll be, yeah, it's a different Faroe. Oh, Spain and Portugal were mm -hmm. in the completely wrong country. Maybe the Faroe Islands aren't in here, but I thought they were. I don't think they're north of the Shetlands. I thought they were west of them, but they're not. I think. Oh, well. Oh, thank you.
Yeah, yeah. It's cold outside. It's cool. Dude. Uh, yeah. Pearls, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Let me show you. No. This is my home village. Oh, yeah. The south, southest island. Yeah. Soderoy? Yeah, Soderoy. Yeah. <laughs> Don't go in between there. Don't go in between there. Let me mark there. that. And you said right there as well. Okay. Don't go in there. Don't go in here. So Don't go, go, in go this there way as here. Well. Because of the current. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It yeah. doesn't take very long to get across, but it can be a rough. Okay. Yeah. And if it's windy, watch out for that. Yeah. And wait a couple of hours until the current has changed, and then you have a smooth sailing. Okay. Wow. That's the only thing to watch out for. You see, you've got some strong arrows here, huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. They, yeah. they show it. Yeah. And so, the same there. Yeah, uh, very strong there. Yeah. yeah. It's fairly really good. Just use this. Excellent. Yeah. Tomorrow we go to the gold mine. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> gold mine. <laughs> the gold mine. Oh, there's one more closer, you know. Really? The one hour sale. Really? Yeah. yeah. They're yeah. really finding gold there. Yeah. Yeah. But there's lots of gold, but it's not in volume. It's, it's not so concentrated. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's spread over a big area. Yeah. yeah. A lot of searching. Wow. Okay. Well, okay. good luck. Okay, good. <laughs> Take care, guys. Thank you, guys. So, what is your big brainstorm idea? Okay, I was. It wasn't a big brainstorm idea, but I was just thinking. Right, if if it is that we're going down through down through the islands. Yeah. Um, I mean. If we do go to open, or even if, I don't know, I, don't, I, I, I thought it was a good idea at the time. Ain't it just said that he will stay with us for an additional like two to three months if, we, if we can bring him... I never said that! If we can bring him <laughs> straight to his graduation, his graduation's in London. If we sail down the coast of England and pull into London, then he can hop off the boat Drake. and go to his graduation. <laughs> We would sail to not London. Even, not even to London. I was just thinking that. Yeah, but London's um, cool, isn't it? I mean, yeah. wouldn't you like to go to London? The bridge is falling I, down. You, you don't want to go there. You could live on the boat in the marina in London. I need to get a girlfriend, a guys. Well, <laughs> London's probably a good place to find one. I don't think so. No. Mm. Well, no. That come to mind was, okay, if we are getting later, like if we're sailing down the coast, down the islands, if we came to Wales. Mm -hmm. If I could get my folks to come across, meet us in Wales and bring us all to the graduation and then back and then I'd help you sail that's like two or three more days yeah. down to sail and then boop, then I'm off the boat and then that sounds great. How'd that go? Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> but I'm just thinking like if, if that's gonna be weird. If it's things aligned weird. or it was probably it's kind of a it's kinda of like trying to shoot a bullet You're with another someone? bullet while riding on a donkey blindfolded. But it was a shot. <laughs> <laughs> I think Did it's a great just idea. Out of your boot hair? Oh. No. Yes, that was impressive. Because like I've been thinking, oh my god, out of your boot hair. we've got to get Ana home in time for him to then think, get to the graduation. Because I'll, I'll, I'll lay it to you straight, Drake. No. I think if we. Just from everybody we've talked to, they've been like, don't go to Ireland, don't go to the Ireland, go to, go to Iceland, go to Iceland, go to Iceland, like a few people have said. And I'm like... No one said that's a great idea. I'm like, you know what, if we go to Iceland, and then go down to the Faroes, and then to Scotland, mm. from Scotland, it'd be easy enough for me to get back. And then I could hold, hold my head high and say, right, well, I've done transatlantic um, as well. Because I feel like if I'm going to Iceland, and flying home from Iceland... I'm You're gonna, a cheater! I'm gonna cheat. And I'm gonna I tell th everyone, you cheater! <laughs> I feel like I'd be shooting if I went to Iceland and flew home. From my perspective, I kind of want to get you to, to Scotland because then it is kind of, you can day sail, coastal day sail, and all the way to Kinsale. And even then, um, like it'd probably take a week to get from Scotland down to Kinsale if you're day sailing. Let me just go over this. 667 nautical miles from the weather station to Isia Fjorda. 570 nautical miles from Isia Fjorda, Iceland to Vestamana, Faroe Islands. 271 nautical miles from Vestamana, Faroe Islands to Stornoway, Scotland. 
And then we've got a, about another 650 nautical miles from Scarlet, <coughs> Scotland to Kinsale Island. And that was actually going around the western coast, mm -hmm. just going offshore and this, booking it. That's another 650 Why would you go around miles. the western coast? Why not go down the eastern coast? Is that Oh, well, because it's, you know... Because I don't like land, and I don't like ships, I don't like traffic, and I don't like nighttime. I'd much rather be well offshore than, than but, anywhere near the coast, you know, at night. How is the sailing down between England and Ireland? Ask, you You say he's mm -hmm. the one that, that knows and is familiar, ask. It, re it really can depend, like... If it's nice. Let's if it's nice, nice, sailing's window. good. In between Belfast and Scotland there is shipping, and in between Dublin and Wales, there's shipping, and then there's there's kind of a kind of calmer period between like at past those points. I've sailed at night off the west coast, and I've sailed off night the night on the east coast, and I saw more shipping on the east coast than I did on the west coast. That makes sense. Yeah. If you do hit weather, is it worse on one side? It's or? it's worse on on the west coast for swell. For swell. For swell. I mean, if you get like a strong southwesterly wind, it can be rough. Um, on both sides, but it will probably be that bit. It's a bit more intense on the west coast because you haven't the land isn't there just as the buffer, like. Right. But uh, got that whole Atlantic you Ocean is yeah, and I mean like, if you've had a big low running in, the west coast of Ireland kind of have these big swells, and maybe it might be more uncomfortable sailing. If you headed down, you came into Belfast, then you are basically a day sail away down to Dublin. Then you went to Dublin, and then. Because, I mean, I've sailed at five knots from Kinsale to Dublin in 24 hours. That's how long it took. So it took one day to get around that corner. Ten hours of darkness. The probability of getting really bad weather doesn't really begin until sometime in September. Right? September. Mm -hmm. Not August. August is the best time of year for sailing these waters. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Of the year. Mm -hmm. July and August best time of the year for yes. sailing these waters. September, it changes. It's 13, 15 nautical miles from here to Kinsale at five knots. Mm -hmm. Five knots. We can probably do better than five. We almost always do. As long as we have wind in generally the right direction, we can stay on the run line course and we can probably do more than five knots. Mm -hmm. But say we average five knots on the run line. 13, 15 nautical miles, that's 10.9 days, 11 days. That gets us into Kinsale, Ireland on September 1st, mm -hmm. if we leave today. <laughs> <laughs> um, wait a minute. No, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. I know you... Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, three more days. It gets us into... One, two, three... One, two, three. It gets us into Kinsale Island on September 4th. Mm -hmm. September 4th. The bad weather season hasn't even begun. So what do you think? September 4th. Good weather. Oh, That's yeah. 11 days of probably decent sailing. You know what? I was just looking at this map here. Um, yeah. I'm thinking, remember that town, that city the thing was talking about? Uh, called yeah. Galway? Yeah. That's here. Let's say it's perfect and we get there on the 4th. Maybe it'd be nice to go a little further north and then work our way down and spend some time with Anna showing us around Ireland a little I would bit. like that very much. You know, so is that stay. what you're getting at here? Do you want to go straight? I uh, no, because I thought kind of distance wise if it cut off a day off the voyage I mean like if it brought it down. It's to 9.9. .9. I know, but I was just... I was just no, no. You know, well, then, you know, yeah, 10 days instead of I know, 11. I know after, like, I know after Eight days and Eight days. ten would be great. It's nice because then you're like, then it's just like that. You're, you're, it's a smaller jump in the weather window and stuff. Sixty to sixty-five. That's sixty miles times five. That's three hundred. So a third of that is one hundred. Mm -hmm. So yeah, the black it's thing, the little basically. black thing. Okay, yeah. so we'll leave on Saturday morning, and so by Sunday morning we'll be right there. Mm -hmm. Here we go, there's Saturday weather, there's Sunday like morning, yeah, okay, a, little, so a little, bit, little bit of 25 to 30 right on us.
we can certainly sail that. So Sunday, we're right there, which means on Monday, we're right there. Yeah, which is 20, 25 and, knots, uh, which is good sailing. Yeah. 20 knots out of the southwest. And yeah. then Tuesday. So, so Saturday to Sunday, so Sunday like to Monday, One, Monday two. to... So we're like right there? Tuesday, we're right there. And here's Tuesday's weather. Southwest, southwest 15 to 20. Are we basically going to have like 20 knots? <laughs> it is a beam reach, broad reach. Mm -hmm. Wednesday, Thursday. Oh, Thursday. Oh, no, Thursday. That's where we're going to be. Sunday morning, Tuesday morning, Wednesday morning, Thursday morning. We're going to be near it. We're going to be, be like right in. there. We're going to be roughly about here. Some wind is building up there. How's Friday look? Do you have Friday or no? There, there is no Friday. So worst case scenario, that thing... Could get much worse. ...develops into something that probably doesn't blow more than... 40... 40 to 45 knots. 45. By the looks of it, we wouldn't be getting wind on the nose, so we be able to maintain way. It's just up to go back, isn't it? Yeah, up to go back, yeah. Okay, so judging from that, if you look at the path of it, it's come from the southwest of Greenland, heading further south, and then moving east. So if you think of the direction that's probably likely to take, mm -hmm. is to continue eastward, over towards Ireland direction, which would be kind of in the path of where we're going. Mm -hmm. If it was to develop more, then you're pretty much getting a beat in that day. Mm -hmm. But that is like that's our that's the full week out like so that that thing suck. could change so we'd have to look at it for the at the, at the weather station. We can look at weather one last time probably tomorrow morning tomorrow before we push off from yeah. here. Yeah. And uh, what was it? I wonder where that's going. Mm. Let's see what will it do. Yeah, that fell up. Looks like it's gonna go across as well. It's just they're all about two or three days apart, eh? Because as that's coming down, there's another one building up in here. Yeah, see the way it's it's, it's rotating. Yeah. It dies off a little bit, loses power, loses power. Then it comes down to Creek for a while, well, starts to get bigger, and then it's come into this system here as well. It's, it's a weak, low pressure on the northern side, but the windiest quadrant is that section. So it will probably continue moving east like so. I remember somebody saying, you get the warm current coming up here to the south of Cape Farewell, and then... The cold current of the... And it's when the two currents are mixing thing. here, when that's mixing with the air, then that might be what's fueling this low pressure system. Mm -hmm. And then, wham, it's got more, and then it's come, and then it's developed. And all that, that cold water coming down from hmm. the east side of Greenland, too. That being said, works. it might, once it's come away from there, it might lose its, it lose its power or whatever, but... But like that, we could check that in the morning. Okay. We well, do. We do need to go fairly early tomorrow morning to okay. get to this anchorage in time. Mm -hmm. Okay. I should boot up the chart plotter one more time to look at the the mileage there again because I forgot. But okay, I'll do that and figure out what time we have to leave by at the latest. Next on Drake Paragon.